What's going on fam? This is where you at bro, here to bring to you another workout. And today we're hitting chest and back, but this is for week four through six in Kyle Green's bulk mass program. I hope you're ready, cause today's gonna be intense. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, so we about to jump right into this thing. So for our first two movements, which is a superset, it's going to be bench press, and then we're going to follow it by chest dip. For our bench press, we're not doing only three sets or three rounds. We're doing six of them. Yes, six. We're doing six rounds of the bench press, and then everything else is going to be four rounds or four sets, as we should say. All right, so then our reps is gonna be between 10 and 12 for each one of them. But anyway, if you need to have more information in regards to how many reps and sets, check the description now and you'll know exactly how many sets and reps you need to do for each movement. All right, so let's go ahead and let's pump this thing out and get this chest right, all right? After doing six sets of that bench press and also having to superset it with chest dips, listen, if your chest isn't on fire or you're not exhausted, you ain't doing something right. You probably need to increase your weight or something because I am on fire and I'm exhausted, but I still have a lot more to do. But you know what? It's okay. Now, with those chest dips though, I'm getting better at them. Like I told you before, I didn't like them because I couldn't do them. Now I'm able to do them. I'm liking them because I'm getting such a nice pump from doing that in my bottom chest. Now, my next superset is gonna be incline dumbbell press and regular old push-ups. Yes, regular push-ups. That's another one you need to add and make it a staple in your workout because man, push-ups will do it. And just simply body weight, you know, you can do it anywhere, but yet you can get such a good pump if you do it correctly. Now I'm gonna say this right now for push-ups. When you do your push-ups, and I said this before in other videos, you want to grab the floor or the ground. You wanna grab it and push what? Inward, push inward because it activates that chest. You know, you want to max or maximize as much of that chest as possible. Again, we don't want to leave no gains on the table. So make sure when you're doing your push-ups, you push inwards. All right. Same thing when we're getting ready to do our incline um, uh, dumbbell press. When you get it up there, I want you to try to have your elbows to meet to get a good squeeze. Now again, you can't actually do it, you know, far as elbows touching, but yeah, you can simulate. The, um, um, you trying to do it. Again, we're trying to squeeze that chest, get a nice pump and a nice burn in doing it. So guys, make every rep count. Let's leave nothing on the table. All right, let's get these gains.
we're on our last three movements. Now, it's not a superset or a triset, but done individually. And what they are is dumbbell pullover, then after you're done doing those four sets, then you're doing T-bar row, four sets, and last seated cable row for four sets. So me, I might attempt to do it all back to back to back. We'll see, I'm a little bit tired. At this point in this video, it's already been an hour. Now you guys are getting a cut version where it's gonna be probably 15 minutes or under, but it's been an hour already, so I'm exhausted. Exhausted. You know, you now I'm getting 15 minutes looking like this. Well, probably me in this hot box. I in my garage with the door closed and everything, so it's hot in here. You know, but I like it like that anyway. So anyway, so now we're gonna do dumbbell pull dumbbell pullover. That's how you said dumbbell pullover. Anyway, you get ready to see how it is. Also, guys, for more information, check the description. Now, I'm gonna also add some links to some other guys who give you the science behind all the movements. These are people that I look at and I, I admire as well because, again, they make sense in what they're doing. You see the gains in their body, and I just mimic the information that I get from them. You know, so um, again, I have some um, links in the description. Check those out. Again, this is Kai Green's mass um, program. It's really just mass. I keep saying mass boat, but it's really mass. And this is week four through six. All right, let's go ahead and get to this movement. All right, guys, now it's time to attack this T-bar. Make sure, guys, you keep your core tight for stability in your lower back. And guys, make sure you flex in that back and pump them things out. All right, let's go ahead and hit this one. guys we're down to our last movement yes so we sick it 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 don't sound right but excited about this one we just got to do seated cable row and then we're done for the day woo fam there you go for day one of the four to six week portion of Kyle Green's mass program all right so we just killed that one I'm feeling great exhausted a little sore but I feel great because I just finished that workout now if you like what you just saw give your boy a thumbs up thumbs up hit the subscribe button I'm gonna say subscription 
for a subscribe button, leave a comment, and share this video with somebody else. As always, fam, this is where you at, bro. Signing out. Peace. See you in the next workout. Aye.